Hello everyone, anyone, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sid Enhanced Edition. I am Zial, and we are back at hanging out, doing things, chilling out, cool, whatever, I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, I think we have ourselves a cave to explore. So we are going into the mine entrance, uh, which is, hey, what's this over here? What's that say? The sacred stone? Oh. I probably should know more about that or remember what that is. Anyway, to the mines we go. That wand I identified, it was just like, whatever. No big deal. Hey, I got a waypoint. Awesome. So I can actually go away if I want to. You can go away if you want to. You can leave the your mines. friends behind. We made it. I wonder what we'll find in here besides immaculates. Why don't you be my canary and go find out? <laughs> Snarky. Yay, backpacks. Woo. Uh, yeah, I still haven't fixed the my ridiculous bag situation. <laughs> over here. Come hey. over here quickly, mm -hmm. but be as quiet as a mouse. What's what that? Are you waiting for? Come here. Hey. But for the love of the gods, be still. Hey, you should speak up. I can't hear you. I can't believe it. I never thought I'd see another human face uncorrupted by immaculate madness. But what do you have to trade? Nothing. Oh. I hid when I heard your voice, but you don't look like the lunatics here that slave the dead. Will I escape this infernal pit after all? Will I escape the dreaded hell lords? Find out now. Who are you? I'm Marques, a craftsman from Hunter's Edge, a village some miles to the east of here. Orcs raided our town and sold us to the goblins as slaves. Little did we know that they were to pass us on to the remorseless necromancers here in the mines. Jerks. Yeah, you heard me right. Necromancers. My family, my friends, they were all turned into undead slaves by those most deviant of sorcerers and forced to unearth Tenebrium. I managed to escape in the darkness of the tunnels and was just about to head for the daylight when I heard you approach. You know, after taking on, like, the Source King and, like... I think approximately 500 skeletons. Okay, man? That doesn't really phase me. Necromancers are just bad guys. Why would the slaves be turned down dead? Because of the Tenebrium, of course. Ah. That stuff will give you rot right quickly. Right quickly. And after that, rot will kill you right slowly. But if you're naught but a skeleton with a pickaxe, what then? Rot can't touch you, can it? Hmm. So that's what they do, the vile maniacs. They procure people, slaughter them, and wrench their souls back from the shores of death to mine the days away. I don't even know why they do it. Tenebrium. It blights all that it touches. Good for nothing is what it is. Rod certainly sounds like it means bad news. The worst. I can't imagine a crueler death. They say some genius up in Silverglen first hired the goblins to clear away Tenebrium when his miners started to fall ill. Them nasty critters are immune to its contagion, they said. What nonsense. The goblins aren't immune at all. They just wanted to take possession of the mine. Their chief, a, a sickening brute called Sadakandras, simply forced everyone out. Those who put up a struggle were speared and sacrificed to goblin totems. Whoa. Then, away from prying eyes, the Immaculates moved in, and the undead horror began. Those fools of goblins don't even realize they're no more than cogs in the Immaculate Machine. Why, I've even seen a number of them held as prisoners just a corridor away. Soon they'll be no more than skeletal slaves. Orcs came to your town, you say? You make it sound like a carnival dropped by. <laughs> Carnage, more like. Mayhem and death. That's what the orcs spread. To think we thought ourselves lucky they didn't eat us all on the spot, but rounded us up to be sold into slavery. We escaped certain death only to face certain deathlessness. Talk about your rock and a hard place. Deathlessness? Who in blazes are the Hell Lords? By the Seven, I don't know. Never have I seen anything like them. They're creatures dressed in knight's armor that's black as coal. The very ground trembles when they approach, and their eyes shine with demon mania. To even think about them is to struggle with almost irrepressible panic. Let's discuss these minds. What about them? Give me a little land, yo. I'm afraid I've been navigating these mine shafts rather like a fish out of water. All I can do is advise you to leave and don't look back. But if you're determined to push on, 
be warned that a handful of immaculates is the least of your worries. All right. The necromancers weave powerful magic, and as I fled, I nearly ran into one of the Hell Lords. Had it seen me, had I met its eyes, I know I'd have gone mad. I, I, I looked away and, and, and ran as fast as I could. Fair brew for you. Only darkness awaits you here. The dark and the dead. The good and the ugly. I'm likely to meet a mechlet, am I? Indeed. Bunch of loons. <laughs> I haven't the foggiest what their plans are, but it has nothing to do with mining for silver, and that's a goddamn certainty. Them and their goddess lording ways seem to have taken hold in Silver Glen. But I bet the people there have no idea what the boys high up, or, or should I say down low in the mines, are really plotting. Hmm. Some sort of dance competition? Curse their ignorance and curse their gullibility. Immaculates, the real ones, I mean, the ones in power, they are setting something in motion that I hope to be far, far away from when that something finally rears its head. Well, thank you. As will I. It's just that I'm torn. Should I hang low right here just a little bit longer, or should I make a run for it? What, 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 do, you, what do you think? Hmm. Well, yeah, but I kind of cleared them all out, but knowing this guy, I wonder if he's just going to, like, run through the traps on the way. Yeah, I say run. I say run. Why sit and wait for death? Yeah. Let's run. I concur. Run while you can. Yeah, you're right. Better make a dash for it while I've still got a chance. So long then, friend. And wish me luck. Okay, good luck. Log entry added. To investigate in the mines? No. To... Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to go do the guy with the wishing well. Oh my gods. Okay, I have to admit... That that is it says I have a teleporter right now. Doesn't I seem to work here. What? Black magic is this? Strange. Something here seems to be interfering with our teleporter pyramids and waypoint group. If we go much further, we may not be able to escape again. Whoa. Yeah. Perhaps we ought to turn back. Whatever is interfering with our transportation objects might have ill effects on us too. Hmm. I can't shake the feeling that we're walking into some kind of trap, and I, for one, don't want to trigger it without an escape plan. Cautious, bold. Uh, it's, it's okay. I'm pretty sure she's still firing. He's still immune to fear. <laughs> or whatever. I think that's what bold does. Well, that's spiritual. Bold is... Initiative is increased. Yeah. Because I don't really care about sneak, funny enough. Like, that's the one thing I think they definitely could do to overall seek. Well... I'm gonna walk out of the mine because I really want to talk to the wishing well. I'm sorry. People are probably like, uh, you said you do this like, what, three, four episodes? I don't even remember. I, I just don't. Um, the old church is close to it, probably. It's probably the closest to it I can think of. I'll teleport somewhere else if not. Because they're gonna give me stuff. It's gonna be great. Stuff and th things. I wonder what game there's I'm trying to figure out the game that's making me think that clicking um, on something and then going away from it is like the best uh, course of action what game is making me do that uh, I'm kind of at a loss uh, whatever yeah I'm sure I've dug it up um, <laughs> Wishing wells are over here, and they're so happy. Well, because there was a game like you know, you just click the mini. Oh, did we all walk through? Fi oh my gods! <laughs> okay, so we all learned a valuable lesson in pay attention to your characters and the effects of uh, Zial, as in myself, with cold medicine. <laughs> hey, you're back alive! Welcome. Uh, <laughs> here's the sort of thing yeah I could save and I could reload and I could do all that sort of stuff but um, y you know you pay for your mistakes you know it's uh, the way that it is um, it's a bummer but heal yourself Jeez, take seven years to do it why don't you um, yeah I'm trying to repair whatever I've broken here um, 
yeah, so just get my heal on, all that sort of good junk while I can. I needed that. Are we healed yet? Up yet? Are we done? Yeah, just do it one more time and everyone should be fine. Bless the oh, we're done. Actually, I can just do this and it should be fine. All right. So, it's a lot of fun. This was absolutely the worst place to go. I forgot about this automatic trap that I don't think I ever disabled. So, whatever. To the Wishing Wells. Now I'll okay, quick save so I don't just like, hey, do you want to murder all of us? That'd be fun. You went and whisked Willie back to Wally. Wow. Wow. Whip out your wallet and wing a bit of gold my way, and I'll wow you in return. This well wishes to work his magic. Can you grant me a wish? What would you like to wish, our most willing friend? Decide how much you're willing to spare, and I'll will you something wondrous in accordance. We go and baller. 1,500 gold, please. Wow. What have we here? What wealth? Please enjoy your reward. My reward? Did you just get transported in my pockets? Is that what happened? Was this it? Yeah, I, yeah, I think this was it. Uh, or, or they gave me a few things. Oh, snap! Oh, look at this bow. Now that, this is a knife. That's a bow, all right. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that thing. Two dexterity, chilled status on attack. It's got water effects, but hey, thankfully I'm no longer hanging out in Watertown, the next generation. So, congratulations. That was, uh... See, it's worth it to wait to a higher level so you get the best gear possible. Uh, the pickpocking boots, the fire resistance. Bleh. Of course, what are you wearing? Yeah, we probably could do better than whatever BS I have you wearing right now. So, congratulations! <laughs> I'm too lazy to... Look at boots and things. Um, I'll, I'll go back and check them out later. Um, see, the scope I can attach to that new bow. Because, I mean, plus two dexterity is going to be hard to get rid of. Uh, I mean, that, that puts your offensive rating up very high. Good chance to hit. And good chance for damages for my skills. So. Anywho. That was the Wishing Brothers of the Welly Welly Wacky Washington's. What do you have to say? Water! Water! Look! Our wanderer has returned to us! Hail, hero! How now? Hey. Oh, woe is the wish granter, whisked so far from where he lays his hat. His powers grow weary given enough time, and his wishes wear away as his woes wax. You and your brother are jackets. I won't be able to manage much anymore, but perhaps there's still a way. Ooh. What say I will? Some of this dreadful weather away. I think I can still manage that. And for 2,050 gold, you, Wanderer, can wish which weather I switch. Perhaps I can wind down this wild lizard or whack out the lava burbling volcanoes to the north. What do you say? Uh, yeah. Let's, uh... I, apparently I could have done this before, and we're just gonna go... Bleh. Oh, well. Rules are rules, Wanderer. So, I'd have to pay him. Uh, and we're not spending a lot of time there, so... No thank you. I shall keep my gold. Now, just for the sake of, um... Before I go back into the place... Now, I, I probably wouldn't be like, Yo, let's go get what's-her-name. But since I happen to remember, the, for the most part, the inventory of this particular vendor slash Captain Lieutenant, whoever she was, I'm going to quick check it out and see if it changed because we had changed screens and that sort of thing. Or if it's just based on like every level of changes. So good to see you again, Source yeah, Hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this looks very, 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 very familiar. Yeah, because I remember she had a... Remember she had a... Uh, bow which i don't remember actually gosh does she have that bow because man that would be a pretty good one to pick up too wouldn't it i'm kind of glad i didn't because that cost money and the other one did not uh yeah i could do some best stuff but i'll wait till the next one comes here plus one bow you say hmm uh, she has dexterity bracer so it's kind of like i'll just keep those uh for bear dot it is so it looks like it did change, I think. 
gosh. Now I'm trying, like, now I'm just, like, trying to remember a couple days ago. We'll check this Quartermaster. I remember her her equipment being, whatever she had was kind of rubbish. So, still rubbish. Well, Source Hunter, you come to the right mm -hmm. place, you are. I got every style of equipment to fit you from head to foot. If it's a trade you're okay. after. Yeah, for the most part, I remember this. So, it looks like it, it reloads a different way. I mean, granted, I mean, this isn't terrible. These aren't bad at all. Um, for certain people, but is it worth the, the cost? Eh, it's a lot of it's a lot of money to throw at it, you know. So anyway, thanks. It's been real. Teleport back to the mine's entrance. For danger awaits us. And it's interesting. Does that so? Does that mean that our teleporter pyramids does not work as well? Because that could drastically change our strategy. Doesn't seem to work here. Yeah, see? That is interesting, because what that means is that if we have to do any of the whole I'm gonna go wander through all the nasty stuff and hopefully my friends will make it. Uh yeah, it's pretty dark here. And just the gamma. Video? Gamma correction. Yeah, that's Put it up. Does that help? Hard to tell when the screen's black. I think that helped a little bit. Alright. Who's making the sounds of. <gasps> mouse. Oh, just just a hint of chance of minor. Hi, M mouse. Mouse, 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 mouse. First goblins, then cultists. Who's going to take over this mine next? Crab soldiers? Fairest of thought. I didn't say such things. Oh, we can just talk to him. He did, okay, he's not gonna violence us. That's nice. I mean, he might still, but dude, what I did pick up? It's all black and awesome. Yeah, I guess we'll see the latest. The inventory of woe. Mysterious fragment dot. That's mysterious. Serious. Hi. Look. Skeleton is compulsively swinging his pickaxe. Who are you? With that same thousand yard stare you get when trying to do arithmetic. <laughs> uh, tell me about the Immaculates. Seems that bone to pick a few you think it is working. <gasps> Immaculates doesn't have purses here, would they lie to harm the mines? Yeah, okay. Only the sound of metal waves you can These undead buy. are completely unresponsive. I smell foul magic. <laughs> I reckon you're right. This is necromancy to be sure. I love it. It's just, it's just so obvious. <laughs> it's like, now tell me more about this. Who's your boss? This is a disgrace. We'll skin you all alive. We will. Yay. Um. Hi. Release us, vile human scum. Sadakandras will hear a filthy immaculate betrayal he will put you all up on a pole and let it slide slowly into your bowels uh, until your screams of agony will rid the forest of all that lives so terrified will be even the worm that crawls and the bird that flies well hello to you too say your hellos while you can filth for soon you will howl a slow <laughs> goodbye. All humans will suffer the wrath of the totems for the shame that has befallen us. I have a problem with my asses too sometimes, so I feel you, bro. Tell me about yourself. I am Drexis, favored of totems. Were that I had my spear, this mine would be a blood better to waste if I were free. Not even the Tremor Demons uh, could stop me. <laughs> Who is Sikandrus? He is the chief of our tribe's seat, the greatest of goblins alive. For the promise that hides in bloodstone does he follow the human female they call Conduit. She has his respect. All others have but his contempt. Why are you in prison here? The slavers made their bones splinter inside their living flesh. They lured us in here 
They said they had found an ancient totem, but that was a lie! Lie! They need more slaves to unearth Tenebrium. So soon they shall give us to the necromancers. Let them come. I shall claw their eyeballs from their skulls for their trespass and shove them down their throats. Uh, so you direct this? Mink Lawrence asked me to kill you, you know. Lawrence? <laughs> Leave it to that coward <laughs> to send another to do his dirty work. I thank you for telling me, human. To Lawrence, I shall go after I escape from this hell and show him the tricks I can do with a knife. Whoops. Mm, demons. If my nose does not betray me, and it never does, they have been forged in blood. The power of the bloodstone runs through them. The blood of a thousand spirits. They course through the stones they hold, through the living rock. Blood, 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 in blood the spirits roam free. Free. Well, that's a good chat. Now, for the sake of wonder, 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 if I can pick the lock, we shall see. What's my lock picking at? Is that like wearing special equipment for? Probably. Oh, I'll stay deep. Humans. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick that lock. <laughs> I might have more lock picking gear on me, but uh, yeah. So he's they're all of them are not friendly. Um, if we find a key, we can open up the door. Man, there's that. Now I'm interested about this ore that they have in here, because well, this one I can click. Uh, I'm thinking, who's got the pickaxe? Look at this, look at this nonsense. Look at trying trying to make sense of this is amazing. Because if this ends up being Tenebrium, we certainly do not want it to be mined by um, someone who's going to get infected by it. Or we will and just have a good laugh about it. I forget who mines. Do you mind? Oh shoot. Ah, oh, just iron. So anyway, looks like these guys, uh, you know, they pulled a little bit of the double cross on them. Um, I don't have the key. Oh my lord, your lisp is just fantastic. Well, it's not, I don't even know if it's a lisp, it's just, hey, uh, voice actor? We gotta make this goblin different. You know what I want you to do? Just draw out those S's. You're like, is this enough? It's like, oh, lo oh no. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. He's invulnerable. Oh gee golly, Will Lookers, Batman. What do we do? Can I even affect him? Let's not do that. Let's see if we can just freeze him or something. Oh no. Release us, you I'm trying to Curses of the I think I might need to flee. Because this guy is invulnerable and I was supposed to be avoiding paths and I didn't do anything of the sort. Let's try fleeing. Oh snap! Everyone else has to too, I forgot about that. Yeah. Hi. Whose turn is it? Can I not flee? Oh, shoot. Is it bugged out now? Snap. That's the reason why they don't want you to be able to uh, get past everything. You have to time out when you walk by these guys. Now, okay. Did I fix it? Uh, yeah. Now we'll back out. So everyone gets to flee. Back in. And you get to flee. Watch as our brave heroes flee. And you get to flee. I wonder if this is going to completely screw me. Hi, guys. Fancy being you here. And connected, 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 connected. Okay. So those guys are invulnerable. So that means we need to be careful. 
vulnerable is certainly a uh, thing about this. I don't really recall. Oh, wait. Is that a switch that allows these guys out? Or is that going to blow everyone up? There's explosive barrels around. Yeah, yeah, screw it. In for a penny, in for a pound. We'll turn off the torch first. Genius. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Is he going to join the battle, the other guy? Or did he walk back? Looks like he patted back. Whoa! Hey, now. Well, releasing him did exactly what I thought. <laughs> um, wow, Jahan is in a terrible position. These guys have got crazy initiatives, don't they? Man, you guys just love fire, don't you? You think it's the best thing ever. Your cave is also filled with a bunch of nasty stuff. Which makes me think perhaps I should make you all explode. Okay, so here we are. Jahan is burning. He can deal with that. And we got a bunch of nasty boys in front of us goblins. Excuse me, I'm just moving around my room a little. I think this is a viable solution. Kajajing. All right, everybody but this guy. Um, you know, I'm still not happy with the gamma. I'm gonna pump it up. Pump it up. At least for this part, because I'm just like, if YouTube darkens this up, it's like nobody's gonna see a darn thing. Ugh. I don't know. I'm really not sure what I want to do here. Why well, did a why indecision is gripping my brain right now? But it is. Let's move closer. And we'll try to get our trip on. Okay. And some more points for later. Alright. So. We got lots of things we can do. Our new bow. I mean, there's all this stuff to blow up here. I mean, I might kill that rat, which is, just, which is sad. Oh, there's a... That's a friendly imp. Okay, so we gotta be careful not to explode everything in this entire thing. Okay. Uh, well, Drexus. I mean, we were gonna do you a solid, but you end up being a jerk, so. Yeah, dexterity improvements have definitely made uh, those, those abilities hurt more. Okay. And do my move you a little bit better angle here. Uh, I don't see any reason why not. Let's actually, we shall, let's get another combatant here. Plus it will prevent these guys from coming out. And there you go. And... Critical hit. Gotta love it. Again. And again. Alright. Moving forward. Well, why don't you heal up off of this guy? You don't need all of that blood, do you? <laughs> Such a snooty guy. And let's freeze him. And because... And we'll just take care of that here. Make him bleed. Oh, uh, he's already bleeding. Uh... Delay. Because let's take him out with an ability. Is this cage going to stop the majority of these attacks? And no, that's terrible because I'm going to blow up all the other guys. So, because we're so close, we're just going to go like this and go, see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Huh. What do you like? Popped up? Discipline? Oh, he's got a head! That's one way to get... Nah, no, don't, don't say it. That was dumb. You know it was. Knockout blow! Knockout blow. And, uh, yeah, I'm fine with Jahan burning, so... Be encouraged, everybody. You can do it, gang. We can do it if we try. Just the two of us. Stabbing goblins in the face when they're prone on the ground and you want to stab a goblin you just do it. 
fake. It's the stupidest uh, fake song I've ever made. Uh, yeah, let's we'll move it here and start attacking this guy. Sizable views also annoying me. Do, 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 do. Got so many options. Spoiled for choice, as they say. Pure damage. Yeah, let's do pure damage. That's a lot of damage. And yeah, I know he's already down the ground, but screw it. Alright. Stabby stabby. See her dex oh it's because she he's he's stunned. I was like, gonna say her dexterity is up. I did the right thing. Um, so she can hit, but no. <laughs> it's really more the fact of just what I thought it was. Alright, let's get you in there. Alrighty. And can't hit that one. Oh, so we'll just uh, hit you a few times. Might as well. Easy enough. Ka ting ka ting. And Seamus. Can't really get in there. Just go and attack. Overthinking it sometimes. Well, actually, I do that all the time. I con constantly overthinking and questioning. Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? Should I do that? Uh. Okay. Not too far away. I like this. Uh, this is one of those things that. Oh, gotta go too, too close. It's like curiosity. Hmm. Anyway, just you know, what? get a wand, right? Pew! I always forget that. I was like, the wands are just stat sticks, man. That's what happens to me. Uh, okay, so we have freed this area, and we got ourselves ahead. So. Fortune. Fortune. It's a good word. Solid metal bracers, all right. And we have somebody new to talk to. Hanging out with a bunch of explosives. <laughs> That's where you hit the quick save button and say, hey! Goodness gracious me. You made quicker work of those goblins than I make of my mother's famous cherry pie. Whoa. Ugh. Can't say I quite fancy the ingredients you've strewn all over the place, though. Not very appetizing in the least. <laughs> What's Imp doing among goblin prisoners? He's cowering in a corner hoping the human slavers will put the goblins to work before they get so bored they cut his ears off for sport. Goblins. Hissing ninny hammers the lot of them. Mm -hmm. Serves me right for being such a great big heap of butterfingers though. I was helping a lady create those blood devils out there, you see. But I dropped one of her bloodstones right into a particularly spiky bit of tenebrium. So you're a jerk. Crack goes the stone and crack goes my silly old skull. Next thing I know, I wake up among one-eyed freaks smacking their lips and hissing obscenities as they glare at me. Gave me more goosebumps than a flock of geese in winter. Correct me if I'm wrong, but she admits you're responsible for those blood devils out there? Gladly I'll correct you, but I am not responsible. I'm merely, how should I put it, co-responsible. If a slave can really be held accountable for his mistress's doing. Ah, oh, philosophy. Yeah. That's right. I am here, wholly against my will, dragged all the way from Hyberheim to serve the lady in red. Not my fault, but I really, really enjoy the work I'm forced to do. <laughs> Completely averse to my own wishes, is it? Merely a happy coincidence, that. Uh, something about the lady in red. The one who dresses in vanilla, who'd you think? What? You really don't know her? I thought she was as famous among humans as zigzags is amongst imps. I know that guy. They call her. Oh, what was it? The channel or something? Or canal? The fjord? Now the conduit. That's it. Lovely girl if you're into blood devils and the like. She has a whole smithy altar ritual thingy a bit further down the mine. Wish I was there, creating lovely old blood devils. Imps don't thrive in cells, you know. They go mad. <laughs> Help create the blood devils, perhaps you can tell me something useful about them. Useful? Let me think. One, don't go near them. 
because they'll kill you in the blink of an eye. Okay. Two, don't let them see you because there's that blink again. Good. Three, don't even think you can defeat them because, well, you get my drift. Luckily, their tread is so heavy, it conveniently gives them away. So just wait for the shakes to subside and you're free to sneak past. Easy peasy. Time to hide behind. Oh, never mind hide behind. You don't want to go there. So cold, you need to build a fire just to pee. If you want to avoid embarrassing accidents, that is. We Redims work there for the king of the realm, the mighty Boreas, Mr. Chumsey and the lady in red. Talk about star stones all day. Takes all kinds, eh? Long story short, she fancied an imp worker, so Mythics, that's me, was given to her as a present. Kind of a letdown, really. <laughs> they didn't even tie a bow around me head or anything. You're not a Mercedes. Well, maybe you are. Now he mentions exacts. Perhaps let's go to the shelter plenty of time. The store is there and you'd be free. Jolly Rogers on a sling. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Yes, I would love to go to meet the great zigzags. What an honor. End of time, you say? How exotic! Right, enough, Panther. Time for you to go shelter plane. Screw outside first, ride all the simurians interfering for rift travel. See you there, oh savior of imps! I'll go ahead and prepare a nice pot of tea for the lot of us once I arrive. Alright. Look at him run. Look at him run. Look at him run. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so. So ends our journey with this one and the end of this part. The this is the portion where I just put on my lucky shoes and try to open up anything that moves um, and such. It's still dark as heck in this video. I mean, that's part of it. You're in a mine and such. I just don't want it to be like, hey, I can't see anything in your video. It's like, well, I know. I know. What great stuff. Oh, I got a pan. Totally worth the time. I'm glad we did this. All right. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, next episode, and uh, it it is really coming back to me. I do not remember this at all. So I think we're officially entering territory that I seem to have forgotten, or maybe I went the other way first, or something. I don't recall. All I know is that these guys are really slow, and it looks to me like you need to be able to find the offshoots to head into like it's almost like some of these places exist just for that reason so that you can avoid those big baddies it should be fun so watch me fail at stealth next time thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it please leave a like it helps out immensely and i'll catch you in the next episode cheers